Welcome back to another message crawler update. Today we're going to talk about a companion app to message crawler called RSMF Viewer. Now, some companies asked me to build a standalone viewer for RSMF files so they, they could QC the output that they generate uh, because they may not have access to relativity to see what the data is going to look like. So today I'm going to show you what RSMF Viewer is and how you can use it and it is part of message crawler so let's go to my screen and i'll show you where to find it now you can download rsmf viewer from my website as a standalone application but if you just go to your program files where your message crawler is installed you will find the separate executable rsmf viewer and if you double click on it what you'll get is that same application that you can download from my website so it is built into message crawler and it can be downloaded as a standalone tool so if you just need to QC it or you want to have it installed on a on a computer without message crawler license you can and it's gonna run and it's absolutely free so the way this works is we're gonna find some uh, RSMF files here let's see uh, right here and what I'm gonna do is copy this path and say okay this is my folder for RSMF files oh I can click on the ellipsis here uh, and then we need to specify like a temporary folder. So the way Viewer works is it's going to unpack all the, um, all the RSMF files, gonna rip all the stuff out so that you could uh, see the content. And for that, it needs a temporary folder, which you will need to clean up, right? It's not going to delete it automatically because you can have a really sizable folder. So uh, I didn't wanna lock up the system, you know, when somebody clicks on exit and it's just gonna sit there deleting. Uh, same way if you want to go back to it and reopen it again, it's going to be quicker if you leave this folder uh, hanging around. So you can leave it on the same path. If you do, you'll need to delete it before delivering data to a client or just use a temporary folder. So what we're going to do is say scan for RSMF and it's going to go through the folder, find all the RSMF files and give you a preview. So when you click here, it'll tell you how many messages you have. Um, well, more importantly, name of the file, uh, conversation display name, and the full path column on the right. And when you click on these files, you'll see that, well, you can see the content of our SMF files. Now, the most important thing about it is you know if you mapped your fields correctly, that your message body is here, a person's from name is here, date is here, and you have a header here that kind of explains to you or summarizes what is inside of that particular RSMF file. So if you're a forensic company that just does RSMF conversion, this is a great tool to um, QC your data before it goes out. Also, if you're receiving RSMF files, you may want to kind of peek at them before loading to relativity. Maybe you want to take uh, five or 10 of them, copy them out to a separate folder, use the viewer to kind of see what's going on there, make sure everything's okay, and then only then go with the full processing and everything. Because if there is a problem, you want to discover it as early as possible. You don't want to, you know, load it, give it to reviewers and have them complain that there is a problem. So that is the idea of RSMF viewer. Again, like I said, it is free. If you have message crawler, it's the executable is going to be in the program files folder. If you don't have message crawler, you can download a separate um, installation of it and install it on as many computers as you want and you don't need license or anything to run it. So that's my update on message crawler or more specifically RSMF viewer. Uh, please give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thank you for checking out this update. I will see you in another.